Welcome to Reading Across America Week. Today's book is Giraffes Can't Dance. I've never seen one dance, have you? We'll have to see what happens in this book. Oh, there's those monkeys. Giraffes. So Gerald was a tall giraffe. Who's Neck was long and slim, but his knees were awful crooked and his legs were rather thin. That's the way giraffes are supposed to be, all right? Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Those are different kinds of dances. The chimps all did a cha-cha. It was with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. <laughs> Look at that clumsy Gerald! The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? Gerald simply froze. He rooted to the spot. They were right. He thought, I'm useless. I feel like such a clot. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then, he found a little clearing and he looked up in the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who had seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes, when you're different, you just need a different song. Ooh. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. And with that, the cricket smiled. He picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling. Making circles on the ground, his neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. Hmm, I wonder what that's called. He threw his arms out sideways, and he swung them everywhere, and then he did his best backward somersault and leapt up in the air. You guys know what this is called? He's doing all this? Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Gerald cried. Yeah, you guys guessed it. Nice job. Then one by one, each animal who had been at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Ooh, now they think he's the best dancer. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. And then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. 
So on today's worksheet, I want to know who helped Gerald be able to know that he was a really good dancer. Thanks.